Greetings, Salvationists. Despite COVID-19 restrictions, I trust your hearts are full, having celebrated Easter and the resurrection of Jesus. Now, I believe that things happen when people pray. That's why in my call to mission, I have included a call to prayer for the International Salvation Army. We have as well in scripture an invitation to come boldly to the throne of grace and to make our requests known. So I'm asking that on Sunday, 19 of April, asking you to join with me in a wave of prayer that will encircle the globe. Now, normally we would do this as we gather for worship, but our isolation at the moment will require this to become a personal commitment. Following Easter, we often hear sermons about the road to Emmaus. When Jesus came alongside and walked with the disciples. Well, I want our hearts to burn within us because we are enjoying his presence through prayer. And some of you will rely upon existing prayer structures. Others will want to take the whole day to fast and pray. Some of you are essential workers and you'll only be able to steal a few moments. The main thing is that we pray together. I think we can do this by accepting a challenge. Follow the sun. Here it is. We start in Samoa and New Zealand. And while the sun rises and gives light, you pray and then let that prayer continue across the globe until the sun sets in Alaska. Let there be a tsunami of prayer coming from the Salvation Army. So what are we praying for? Well, there's room to pray for those who have lost family members. There's room to pray for people who are alone, isolated and afraid. I'm certainly going to pray for many who have very little during this time of isolation. Pray for families whose futures seem uncertain. And pray for the army of essential workers who are holding us up. Here's one. Pray with urgency that God's mighty hand will hold back and stop COVID-19. And then pray for healing and hope in our communities. Praying for those who have lost so much. I encourage you to focus on Psalm 91. He is my refuge and strength, my fortress in whom I trust. And if you are hearing this challenge, then it is you who must respond. I invite you to join me on my Facebook page and in a few words, make a comment. Tell me that you've prayed. Share your confidence in God. And yes, uh, leave a prayer request. God, help us to be faithful. Help us to be a praying army. And God bless you, remembering that things happen when God's people pray.